Hi, welcome to Guy's Art Studio. Today I'm going to paint this picture of Eastbourne Beachy Head Lighthouse. I'm going to upcycle an old self-portrait that I've done of myself and create this new stormy seascape. This is a slow time lapse of this painting. If you want to watch a fast time lapse, I also have one on my channel. If you like watching this time lapse, please share it with a friend, press like and subscribe. Thank you. I've put on a little bit of gold in the background. I want um, some gold shining through. And I'm painting the canvas dark. I decided to do quite a stormy scene. So it's a beachy head lighthouse, but not as you know it, so to speak. I wanted to do something a bit different, a stormy scene, get lots of movement into the painting. And then I start setting the scene with some dark blues, Prussian blue, a little bit of black, a little bit of titanium white. I'm trying to put movement into the painting as I create this scene. Put a little bit of gold in the background to get a bit of light shining through from behind. Using quite a large brush, crisscrossing and putting some movements on there. I don't want a flat image, I don't want the paint to be smooth, I want to add some texture to it. So here I am, added some Prussian blue, some dark onto the canvas. I like painting onto a dark canvas. Crisscrossing the brush, it's a two inch brush, just normal decorating brush, nothing expensive. With the Prussian blue, a bit of black, a bit of titanium white. In my head, I know where the lighthouse is going to be, and I'm angling the brush marks away from where the lighthouse will be. Using a smaller brush now, using the end of the brush. Lots of different types of strokes. I wanted the painting to be slightly abstract, yet you can still see that there's a sea and you can still see it's a lighthouse and a stormy day. Today I'm using Prussian blue, cyan blue, ultramarine blue, titanium white, cerulean blue hue, a bit of cadmium red the Mars black and some gold. a lot of fun painting this bad weather, this stormy scene and sea, getting movement, feeling free, moving the brush around all different directions, different size brushes, really trying to put energy into the painting. I want this painting to have a lot of movement, a lot of energy. You'll see that this painting progresses through lots of different stages, building up layers. I didn't really know where I was going with the painting. I knew the effect that I wanted. You can see that the canvas started white and then I painted it dark blue. The lighthouse is starting black, ends up quite a light colour. With paintings, when you're painting from your mind and you're not copying anything, they do tend to change and evolve like that. Unless you've painted the painting before and you're very clear about where you're going with it, well, I find 
that the painting will evolve. You can start a painting and by the time you've finished with it, you've totally painted over and changed so many things about it as you've come along the journey with the painting. Here you can see I'm using a palette knife, trying to get the paint on thick. I've used some acrylic printing medium mixed with some of the paint. It's quite old now, it goes quite jellyfied, it gives me quite a good texture. I used to paint with oils a long time ago and I like that thickness of the paint. So when I switched to using acrylic, mainly because of the smells and things that I didn't want to smell, acrylic's a lot easier, it dries quicker, there's no mess. You can add printing mediums, thickness to the paint to give you that uh, texture.
just trying to put in some of the waves now, hitting the lighthouse, larger than the lighthouse, bouncing off. see that uh, I thought the sky was too dark so I come back in and go over the top again. This is part of the painting evolving So here I am, I decided to use some different techniques, trying to get a bit more abstract, trying to get looser with my painting. So you can see here I'm using a jam jar or something, get some paint on it, get it thick, move it around, get some energy, some waves into the painting. The jar is quite nice to use because you could actually spin it and turn it in your hand as you're moving it around. So yeah, didn't think I could do that with a palette knife, so yet yeah, here I am, I've come back in with a palette knife now. A mixture of the palette knife and the jar. straight from the tube there, squeezing it out onto the canvas and moving it around with selection of different plastic bottles. Bit of card, bit of rolled up paper, just anything to get a different technique, get different marks onto the canvas. I must admit I really enjoyed doing this painting. So there's only one of these paintings, I guess that's where it goes backwards and forwards. And looking at myself painting it now, I think, well, it would have been handy to have painted the blue behind the lighthouse. That's my normal way of painting. Of course, you didn't really know how the painting was going to evolve. If you paint the painting two or three times, maybe five times, and get really good at it, so perhaps you can do it at a demonstration or something, then obviously you're going to know where you're going. And maybe you're not going to paint over 
the same colour smut. Coming in with sponge. Creating some softer areas, some softer darks and lights. Creating layers of softness, harshness, different types of marks, different colours. Here you can see that I'm trying to create a little bit of rain, a bit of mist, a bit of light hue. So that stormy, stormy evening. Or perhaps it's just a really, really dark, stormy cloud. Picking out some lighter parts of the lighthouse now. Don't want the lighthouse to be there, but I don't want it to take over the painting. For me, the painting's about the sea and about the storm, but the lighthouse is there, getting dwarfed by the waves. cadmium red, a bit of a small amount of black in it, creating some details on the top of the lighthouse. So the direction of brush marks, of the sponge marks, of whatever you're using to create the painting, the direction of the paint marks is so important. So what I do through the process of creating a painting. Sometimes I will take photographs and have a look at the photographs on the camera, see if anything jumps out to me about contrast, darks and lights, proportions, 
balance of the picture. I'll hold it in front of a mirror as well. Sometimes that'll just just jump something will jump out straight away and tell you that you need to change something. It's a process just going backwards and forwards of looking at it, trying to look at it subjectively with someone else's eyes, which is obviously very difficult. Here we've got a bit of gold mixed in with the blue and the white, trying to bounce the light around, light coming off the lighthouse. So here I'm trying to blur the line and bring the weather in and mix it up with the sea. Where does the sea stop? Where does the sky stop? Where does the weather stop? You don't know. It's all mixed up. It's uh, it's a crazy night, a crazy afternoon, a dark afternoon, big thunderstorm. This incredibly strong beachy head lighthouse getting dwarfed by sea, by weather. by nature, yeah it still stands. Beachy Head Lighthouse attracts many visitors year after year after year. I wanted to create a painting that was different, something very different from what I've seen before. So the exhibition that I painted this for is the Society of Eastbourne Artists, obviously based in Eastbourne. A wonderful exhibition at the Town Hall. It was successful for me, I managed to sell three paintings. And if any of you are listening who bought my paintings, thank you very much. While exhibiting at the exhibition, I actually managed to win an award, the President's Choice Award, which is wonderful for me. Great experience. At the end of the video, I'll show you the painting as well, but I painted and won the award. It's a painting of another local area of Seven Sisters of the hills and the cottages, and the downs. I experienced a blood moon coming up out of the sea once and it was so dramatic that I thought I'd want to put it into a painting. show you this blood moon painting at the end of this video. Don't 
I'm using a rag now to drag some of the paint down. Add some splashes, add some rain. Tie it all together. great fun with this so I've mixed a little bit of uh, acrylic flow troll another medium that you can add to acrylic to make it runnier to try and get it to splatter and drip onto the canvas so I've now laid the canvas flat and uh, throwing some paint dripping some paint onto the canvas trying to get it a little bit more abstract, expressionist. Quite, I find it quite hard to paint loose. So you'll still see me come in with the brush trying to control things. Um, it's one of the things I'm trying to do a little bit more, trying to become looser looser with my painting, freer. create the illusion of a massive wave hitting the lighthouse and get some more abstract marks some water splashing back onto the canvas here I think you'll see that yeah I didn't like some of the marks I just put on so 
started taking some off. Dripping some blue on now, mix a little bit of blue up. Putting it on, rubbing it off. It was great fun, I must admit, I loved it. Put a little bit more detail in. Can't help myself with a little brush sometimes. Adjust this and adjust that. I guess we're all the same, us artists. Knowing when to stop is quite a difficult one. But at some point, you do know. Here I am signing it when I haven't finished it. <laughs> I thought I might have, but I hadn't.
So here we are now, nearing the end of the painting. Adding a few more details here and there. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. A little bit longer. This is the long version so you can see a little bit more about what I'm doing so I can explain what I'm doing. If you like the video please press subscribe and like and share it with someone else who might want to look at it. With a bit of cadmium red, picking out the lighthouse a little bit more. beams of light in the lighthouse is trying to shine its light touching a bit of light onto the waves Thank you very much for watching this video and following along on the journey when you're painting a one-off painting that you haven't painted before. It's this journey of adding and taking away as you go through and creating a painting. Please press subscribe if you like my channel. Please share with others and press like. Thank you very much.